Hello dear St. Andrews School students, greeting of the day, this is Dhanbir Singh, your English teacher. I hope you are staying home and staying safe. For the meantime, till the schools are not allowed to open, we will study through videos. Today we will study English reader and uh, we will try to complete the chapter number 4. Basically this is a poem, the name of poem is the Rainbow Fairies. In this poem the poet talks about the rainbow and its form after rain, how it looks beautiful and uh, the name of poet is L.M. Hadley and before reading this uh, poem we should uh, know the difficult words which are going to occur in this that bumped it means crashed and folk means tail bibbed means to clean and sunbeams mean rays of sun the rays of sun is known as sunbeams and uh, failing tears failing tears means to be continuously let us read this poem and try to find out the beauty of rain and rainbow. Two little clouds one summer day went flying through the sky. They went so fast they bumped their heads and both began to cry. The old, old father's son looked out and said, Oh, never mind my dears, I will send my little fairies for to dry your falling trees tears once fairy come in violet and once wore indigo in blue green yellow orange red they made a pretty rain row they beeped the clouds tears all away and then from out the sky upon a line the sun beams made they hung their cones gowns to dry This poem deals with rainbow and what rainbow forms after rain and the colors mentioned here. The colors of uh, rainbow are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red and how they occur in a pretty row. Uh, this is the poem it deals with. Written by Alan Hadley. So, read this poem once again at home, dear students, and how many uh, basis of uh, reading of this poem you should <coughs> choose the correct option. There are dash clouds, how many clouds are there? Uh, read and find out the sun is called dash what's called sun okay the rainbow has dash color how many colors rainbow have try to find and count read here and count how many colors are mentioned in this poem then complete the lines of poem they were bent so fast read the poem and come try to find out um, complete these lines from the poem and true and false you have to complete in your book only and after that you have to write the question and answer in your notebook where are the clouds you have to write where are the clouds what did the sun say and the third one is name the colors of the rainbow this is very small poem and only three question and answer you have to do in your notebook the rest you have to complete in a book only i'll check in your book itself if you're facing any problem you can ask me read this poem twice you will understand the poem very easily. Thank you dear student.